is the 23rd of the 12th, 2013. This is your Radioactive Reality, day 1018. I'm going to start off tonight with a story about um, the Pacific currents, or the currents in the oceans. And we all know the, the untold amounts of radioactive material uh, leaking into the Pacific Ocean, or leaching into the Pacific Ocean, since this crisis began. Uh, here's a little story called, What 28,000 Rubber Duckies Lost at Sea Teach Us About Our Oceans. In 1992, a shipping crate containing 28,000 plastic bath toys was lost at sea when it fell overboard on its way from Hong Kong to the United States. No one at the time could have guessed that those same bath toys would still be floating in the world's oceans nearly 20 years later. Now the story gets into about the ducks and how they got released and, and this movement that got through where everybody was tracking these rubber ducks when they were landing on these beaches all over the world. And my point in this is perhaps the most famous floaties though are some of the 2,000 of them that circulate in the currents in the North Pacific gyre. A vortex of currents which stretches between Japan, Southeast Alaska, Kodiak, the Aleutian Islands, that the plight of the duckies helped to identify. Quote, We always knew that this guy existed, but until the ducks came along, we didn't know how long it took to complete the circuit. It was like knowing that the planet is in the solar system, but not being able to say how long it takes to orbit. Now we know exactly how long it takes. About three years to get around the world. Something to think about. Any news? You can expect an enormous you can expect an enormous amount of cancers around the Pacific. We're all at risk. This radiated water is going to hit right here in the US. It already has. We're at the top of the food chain, so we get highest radiation dose. 35 plus people now suffering cancer after U.S. rescue mission off of Fukushima. They're talking about the Abe Lincoln uh, sailors and their lawsuit. It's growing and growing and growing. Japan export, experts voice alarm over surge in cancers among young in Fukushima. Government told to implement measures now and be prepared for surge to increase further. But don't worry folks, the Japanese got it all under control, don't they? New York Post, snow falling on Navy ship caused by Fukushima radioactive steam. Quote, is that aluminum foil I taste? Sailor, people, we are, people are defecating on themselves in hallways from excruciating diarrhea. Officer, we saw radiation 300 times safe levels. Expert, really an off year. Pelicans starving in Pacific Northwest since 2011. Killing baby birds for food. Breeding success really poor since 2011. I believe pelicans are responding to large-scale changes. Sardine crash persists in Pacific since decline in 2011. you got to remember that the, the Canadian fishing fleet didn't catch one sardine this year. Not one. A lot of strange things going along the Pacific coast, huh? Navy rescuer, Japan refused to let us in during 311 operation. Said ship too radioactive. We literally chased by a death sentence. Radiation was everywhere. Arnie Gunderson, quote, like a horror movie where beast never gets killed. Worse yet to come for the Pacific. And we're just getting started. It's my cat. Uh, unprecedented activity near Canada's west coast. Whales in record numbers displaying highly unusual behavior. Expert problems in Pacific could be bringing sea life to area. Quote, something's amiss out there. Something's amiss indeed. Prime Minister's wife. Fukushima calamity beyond people's assumptions. So much hidden. I hope they will make everything public. Inside source, they're now trying to get people 55 and older to work on Fukushima reactors. The insanity continues. Government scientists concern Atlantic Ocean to be contaminated by Fukushima plume now in the Pacific. 
currents would carry it to the U.S. East Coast, and the 28,000 Ducky Stories confirms this. Takes about three years. Europe, you're not safe either. They got diagrams to boot. Uh, Fox Host, I wasn't aware sickness among Navy sailors was so widespread after Fukushima. Experts say dangerous radioactive release to the air and ocean. We all got it. TEPCO didn't give U.S. radiation data for three or four days. You're telling me that aircraft carrier didn't have any radiation detection? To... <sighs> How dumb do you think we are? So many U.S. sailors coming forward with symptoms after mission near Fukushima. Strange lumps all over. He'd been poisoned with radiation. Hemorrhaging, cancers, leukemia, tumors. Another 50 servicemen may join the lawsuit. They're just getting started there, too. It's a sad, sad state of affairs. If we'd all just came out right at the beginning, imagine where we'd be now. A thousand and eighteen days later, instead of kicking it down the road and kicking it down the road. Canadian government, government scientist model shows level from Fukushima will exceed maximum fallout in the Pacific. Not a human health radiological threat, Government report Fukushima ocean plume hit Canada six months ago. Six months ago. Precedes model predictions by several years. And what's going on in the Pacific? Why are all these sea creatures doing weird things? Why are the animals dying in mass numbers? The bears, the moose, the otters. The insanity. I wonder. In investigation chairman, quote, One Fukushima may destroy the whole country collapse of a whole country possible. You know, Chernobyl destroyed the Soviet Union. It wasn't capitalism. It was Chernobyl. Fukushima's destroying Japan and the entire Pacific Ocean. And there's nothing, nothing being done about it. Arnie Gunderson, the real ap apocalyptic thing would be an earthquake at Fukushima. You're in a highly unstable zone. We've got to move quickly on a unit number three. It's by far the worst structurally. Unit four, a walk in the park comparatively. They're building a radiation bar barrier between three and four. The radiation is so high so they can continue to work in number four. Or attempt to. What do you do? There's no way. These three nuclear reactors have already melted through containment and in, into the environment. Nuclear engineer fuel assembly damaged at Fukushima Unit 4. It's bent in a shape like a banana. Unknown if pellets poured into pool during removal. TEPCO stopped English translations. They like to do that when things get a little crazy. They'll just quit posting things in English because uh, things get lost in translation. Experts, Fukushima is increasingly critical due to decay of buildings. Reactor buildings are sinking, which we've reported several times. Alarming cracks in foundation, which we've reported several times. It was built very poorly. Japan cannot deal with problem alone. It's a big problem, you think? TV, 70 Navy sailors, a new Fukushima lawsuit. They rode right into the plume. Could be thousands more seriously exposed. One or two sick could be coincidence. But 50 to 60 people in their 20s off one ship? Variety of cancers, blindness, impotence. impotence. Watch Berkeley unanimously, unanimous, unanimously passes Fukushima resolution. Officials, very serious. I'm quite sobered by it. Quote, I'm glad we're talking, we're taking a stand. States should get involved. Affects entire coast. <laughs> we all need to get together and take action. Yes, we do. Work of activists is paying off with public support. And the more these videos get around, the more of a pain in the ass we become. Make your own videos. Spread your own voice. Let it out. Let them know. They don't know unless we tell them. Uh, sickened Navy crew members have lawsuit dismissed. Sailors say they have cancer of thyroid, gallbladder, testicles. 
unremitting headaches, rectal bleeding, tumors, bodies deteriorating. And uh, the lawsuit went on to say they couldn't uh, sue Japan and the United States at the same time. Some kind of craziness. And it goes on and on. CBS promotes Fukushima area seafood. CBS promotes. Better if it's allowed to contain more radioactive waste, can, question mark, CBS email to U.S. government. The best way for the NRC to claim Americans' nuclear anxiety is to be interviewed by 60 Minutes. So they can sell more, some more advertisement slots for 60 Minutes. Give me a break, man. Over to uh, Daily News, Fukushima Diary. Seawater fence does not stop contamination. That big seawall they're putting up in between Fukushima and the Pacific. Cesium-134 and 137 levels are the same inside and outside the fence. Leaks at four parts of contaminated water tank area dams within four days. you got to remember the salt water is having its effect on these cheap tanks. And they're going to dump them all into the ocean anyway. 28,000 rubber duckies. Finally tonight, informidable. Japan increases support to Fukushima cleanup, but TEPCO retains management role. So basically the Japanese government's flipping more of the bill as part of the cleanup deal. They bought out TEPCO over a year ago. Um, actually have controlling shares and whatever. So when the Japanese government and TEPCO say it's, it's the one and the same, but TEPCO is still showing a profit, yet getting all these billions, up to $90 billion in um, interest-free loans for TEPCO from the Japanese government. These guys are slipping one bill into the other. Enjoy your wine and cheese parties, boys. The insanity continues. Well, that's about all I have for you today, of course. I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or uh, send me a message. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.